Welcome back. We're back out at the hide again today. We have got another black rifle out for review. So a huge shout out to Delta Team Tactical for sending this out to us for review. And uh, be sure to check the campsite page with all the links and pertinent info. If you're interested in something like this, it has all that available for you. But on to the rifle. So this is one of their 20 inch arrow precision uppers. So this is the upper receiver barrel. This one features the, the Mo Magpul handguard, which I'm a huge fan of. F marked front sight base. We've got a QPQ coated 4150 chromoly steel 20 inch barrel one and seven twist 556 five, rifle here. And I, I've been wanting to do kind of like a you know, I guess for lack of a better term, a retro style A2 build. So something that's that's maybe a little bit more modern than the standard A2 furniture, but still has kind of the same ergos and feels, but maybe just a little bit better. So I opted to go Magpul Mo Grip, and then I got one of the Magpul Fixed Rifle Butt Stocks. And even tooling around in the parts box, I found an old MS-1 sling. So this is definitely Magpul decked out along with Aero Precision. Now, this does ship with no charging handle and no bolt carrier group that you have to get separately. So Aero Precision does not include that with the standard upper upper receiver. However, you can get them off, off of uh, DTT as well. Uh, I went with a recoil, one of their recoil technologies, uh, bolt carrier groups. And I have to say, I was pretty dang impressive with it. I have not used any of their stuff to date up until this particular project. I'm going to roll in some steel shots of the bolt carrier group. I mean, the staking is absolutely perfect. The nitride coating flawless. So I think the bolt carrier group is definitely good to go. It's a 90, 9310 alloy steel bolt head, 8620 bolt body. Again, nitrite. It's got the uh, uh, front assist cuts in it. So, I mean, it's it's definitely good to go. The um, uh, full auto profile, all that good stuff. And um, I also got one of their lower build-out kits. So, it came with the buffer tube, the spring buffer. It did come with a lower parts kit. The uh, lower parts kit itself uh, from uh, Omega Manufacturing. And, it, I mean, they're, they're good to go. I've used those parts kits in the past and I've had no issues with them at all. The, uh, it did come with the standard A2 buttstock. However, I wanted to go kind of a, a different way, so I did opt for the Magpul fixed rifle. And if you've not used one of these Magpul fixed rifles, I, they're pretty good. I like them. I mean, the fit and feel is really good. You do have bosses on the bottom in case you want to put a piece of pick rail for a monopod. You've got sling attachment points. Now, granted, you do have to buy the QD cup if you want to use that type of sling, but I'm a paracord junkie, so paracord all the way for sling attachments. And it does have a trap door in the back. This whole thing opens up, and you can put, you know, Skittles, you know, lube, whatever you want in there. So, of course, we had to go with a standard A2 carry handle for this build. I am going to be shooting this at 110 yards and we're going to do it open sights, guys. So I've I've not done anything like this on the channel to date. So I'm really excited to see how well we can do. But this is one of the UTG Pro carry handles. I have reviewed this separate. It is definitely good to go, very well built, and I think it fits this rifle perfectly. And again, chambered in 556 1 and 7 twist. I think it should fare to, you know, theoretically the heavier grain loads, but you never know. You never know. So we're going to try three different loads at 110 yards. We've got some good old Winchester 855, 62 grain. We've got some good old 193, 55 grain FMJ. And I also, just for S's and G's, got us a box of Federal Gold Medal Match, 69 grain Sierra Match King. So we're going to try five shots of each of these at 110 yards and we're going to see how this upper barrel combo performs so i have actually never shot an arrow barrel to date so i'm really anxious to see how well this thing does so let me move some cameras around and let's get some targets put up on the backers down there and start sending some lead down rain all right so i got us some paper targets set up at 110 yards we are going to attempt to shoot these three loads and see what kind of groups we can get. I'll be honest with you, I have not shot iron sights in probably 25 years. It has been a long time. And even back then, I never did it for groups. So this is going to be very interesting and I'm sure very humbling, 
but it should be kind of a challenge too so that's that's a little bit of fun as well but we're going to start out with the winchester m193 the 55 grain full metal jacket and see how it does so you guys will be able to follow along on the shot cam now i can't even barely see the target itself so fingers crossed that at least hopefully i get a group on paper So there's our first five. You guys will know before I do, so hopefully they ended up where they needed to go. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and run through these. Guys, it is definitely cold enough out here today, and three groups isn't going to be enough to really make or break us. But we're going to start the next group here with some of this 855 green tip. So this is also, uh, I believe this is, yep, Lake City cased. So... Winchester stuff. Now this is a 62 grain, so a little bit heavier. Three, four and five. Actually, believe it or not, I found this stuff at Bass Pro. Not too shabby. Alright, next one up here. See what we can do. Fingers crossed. So that's that five. And finally, we're going to try five of the Federal Gold Medal Match. This is Federal Premium 69 grain SMK. Definitely some good stuff. And considerably more expensive than the rest. That's a fact. But I tell you, if you guys have never had the opportunity to shoot a 20-inch gun like this with a rifle-length gas system, rifle-length buffer tube, you're really doing yourself a disservice. They shoot so smoothly. There's hardly no recoil of any kind. And it's really easy to stay on target, even with iron sights. So let's finish these off, and then we'll take a look at our target. So we are out, drop the mag, we are clear. I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna grab those three targets. We'll kind of see how we did, get some final thoughts on this rifle. All right, so I went and snagged our targets and wow. I mean, guys, I'm by no means a professional shooter and I'll be the first one to tell you that, but I am absolutely stoked with these results. Like I said, it's been the better part of at least 20 years, I know, and probably more since I have shot a rifle with iron sights. And I have never done it to try and shoot groups. So this arrow upper is absolutely legit. So here is the M193. This is just the 55 grain FMJ stuff. Look at that. I mean, every one of them right in the nine ring. And I got that ammo on sale. It was like 11 bucks, I think. So I guess I'm going to have to buy some more of that. But that's pretty dang impressive for me. I will take that any day of the week. I mean, that's that's right on tar target, all five shots. I felt really good about each of those trigger presses, too. 
Next one up is going to be the M855. Of course, this is the green tip, 62 grain. And again, really not bad. I did pull one shot. I'm sure that was my fault. The um, As I was shooting, I noticed the rifle was kind of cocking over to the right, which I'm assuming was from my interface with the rifle. And then I tried to correct. So pretty sure I pulled that one there. But still, four shots within, gosh, what, about two two inches maybe open sight or iron sights at 110 i will take that and then finally i, I tell you it it's always got to be one shot it's always it never fails it's always got to be one shot could you imagine if that would have been in here or over in here somewhere but that's four shots in about an inch at 110 yards with a carry handle and i'm sure this was just me not knowing how to press the trigger correctly so i'll take that one as a uh i'm gonna give that one as my mulligan guys so i tell you the aero precision 20 inch a2 style retro style upper receiver now i did want to point out there was no issues with the front sight base it was completely vertical i did not notice any canting and the utg pro carry handle I had that thing sighted in in about three to four, or actually about four rounds. So that tells me that everything as far as the front sight base and the alignment was good to go. But um, gosh, this is such a fun rifle. I really hope you all take a, uh, take a chance and get a 20 and just kind of shoot it a little bit and see what you think. They are such smooth shooters and this arrow definitely, uh, <laughs> I, I tell you what, it most definitely fits the bill as a shooter for sure but um go on over to the campsite page all the deals and stuff are located over there uh shoot me a message over on the facebook page always glad to interact with you all and see what's going on if you like this content i ask you to please like share and subscribe it really does help the channel as always shoot straight later